Welcome back to my channel everyone. I'm Charles from Charles in Photography. If you're into wildlife photography or sports and you're wanting a long lens then the Nikon 200 to 500 mil paired to a Nikon D500 would have to be a match made in heaven. Now I've been very lucky when I bought my D500 and six months later I bought the Nikon 200 to 500 millimeters paired them together went out and photographed birds and all that I found that the focus was spot on whether I'm shooting a 200 mil or 500 mil but quite a few people have found that when they match the 200 to 500 mil on their Nikon D500 or D7500 which is another capable camera for wildlife that they either front focus or back focus either 200 mil or 500 mil now front focus means that if you're photographing a subject your focusing point is slightly in front of where you want to be back focusing is that your focus point is actually slightly behind where you actually were hoping to get sharp focus today I will show you how to actually use AF fine tune on your D500 or D7500 or D850 if you have a D850 to actually fine tune your Nikon lens it's not rocket science it's quite easy to do but the problem is with AF fine tune if you're using a zoom lens you only can set it to one point which is 200 or 500 or if you feel that you shoot halfway let's say around 350 mils then you select that point what I tend to do is I split the difference I actually do all the calibration at 200 mil then I go again and do the calibration at 500 mil if you're one of these people that also shoot quite a bit at let's say 350 mil which is about halfway then you could actually repeat all the steps that I've shown you here for 350 mils and then divide up the number that you need to set in your camera how do we go about this so what do we need to actually fine-tune our camera has a target some people use something like this a spray can the problem is it's one it's oval shaped so the flat target is very minimal and it doesn't give much for the camera to actually lock on other people say well just put a box like this you know like at your required distance and get the camera to lock on I've tried both of these and I've found that over the course of taking multiple shots that my fine tune was just all over the place so this is what I downloaded from the internet and in the description below there'll be a link where you can actually go up on the web download this to use for your AF fine tune system it's not mine I've just found on the web I'm not taking any credit for it but I found that this image here I had very good results with it so how do we go about setting up our target and how far away should our target be well normally between about 20 to 30 time is a very good distance to have your target from the lens so for 200 mil I'd be looking at around 6 meters if I was using the 30 time rule and around 15 meters at 500 mil but I found at 15 meters my target even though it's a4 was actually quite small so I actually brought it back to 10 meters and I've already done this I've tested it out gone out in the field and I found that I got very good results but originally my lens was very close to spot on so I didn't see that much of a difference but if you feel that you have problems with your lens then definitely this is the way to go this is a very good way of still testing to see whether there's anything wrong with your camera or with your lens how do we do it the steps to it first we set up our target like we said so as you can see here my target is around six meters away because I've set up at 200 millimeters then what we need to do is set our camera up you need to set your AF focusing system just single serve and one point of focus which is the center point you don't want group focus 3d or whatever so AFS is what you want and you can do this by pressing the AF focusing mode on the left hand side of your camera so we're ready to go we have our target set up where the required length six meters from our target but we have to make sure that when we set up our target and our camera that your target has to be horizontal 
it cannot be up or down. Your camera has to be dead horizontal with your target because if it's on an angle, then you're not going to get a flat surface for your camera to focus. You also want your target to be well lit. Now, I'm under our veranda here. My target is very well lit. Another point is also make sure that your camera is very sturdy. You're on a sturdy tripod. There is no camera movement at all because it's bad enough at 200 mil, but when you're at 500 mil, any sort of movement of your focusing point, whenever you're going to take the, the shot, then if it moves a bit, you're going to get discrepancies and they could vary quite a bit. So make sure that everything is locked down nice and tight. We turn the camera on, we go to the menu mode and we go all the way down to the little spanner setup menu and we click on AF fine tune. Now by default this is set to off so we want it to turn it on. Once it's on we click menu again. So we click on live view and if our focusing point is not in the center it's very easy to get into the center just by clicking the center button on your wheel that brings it back into the center of your target. I use AF back button focusing now it's in focus. Now I hold the AF mode button and the record button together for about four seconds and a pop-up screen appears saying before proceeding fix the camera in place and check that it is focused. It's in focus, everything's stable. Now very gently we press the OK button. Now this is very critical. If you jerk the camera here by pushing too hard you're going to move the camera about. It's not too bad at 200 mil, but at 500 mil, this could actually mean that your target is off, up or down. This is not what you want. So gently we press OK there, and it comes up saying a new value has been added to the AF fine tune. Save value, we click OK. Now we just go back into the menu system on AF fine tune, and it tells me here, the save value is plus one. So great, that's it. Well, I wish it was that easy, but the problem is, in real life, we're not shooting flat targets. We're photographing birds, animals, and whatever, and they're not flat. And the problem is, when we focus on something, is the focusing isn't going to be exactly where we want all the time. It just might move a couple of mils up or down. So we have to repeat this process at least 10 times. Now, I prefer to do it 12 times. The reason being is that I want to eliminate the highest number and the lowest number. And then the 10 numbers that we've got left, I average them out. So I count them all up together and then I divide them by 10. So at 200 mils, this is what I've already done. The 12 numbers all came to plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, 0, plus 1, 0, 0, 0, plus 1, plus 1. There was never a number higher than plus 1 or lower than 0. I could actually just leave it on zero or choose plus one. But remember, this is a zoom lens, 200 to 500. So because I predominantly shoot either 200 or 500, now I have to repeat this process for the 500 mil end. So we zoom out to 500 mil. I make sure that my target is moved back. Really, I should have my target at 15 meters. But I found that at 15 meters, even the A4 target was very small. And I was getting erratic numbers because I was outside. So I brought my target back down to 10 meters. And I've done exactly the same thing. I end up with 2.8. So rounded up, it would be 3. I could say that at 200 mils, I need to set the camera at plus 1. And at 500 mil, I needed to set my camera at plus 3. So... The easiest way for me to do it is to divide the difference. Plus one, plus three is plus two. So now I can go into the menu system here, click on AF fine tune. For the save values, come up here and we click plus two. We click OK. And now we have list values. We go down to list values here. We go to the right. And now we can see the two to 500 mil VR we go across here and I'm going to save this as AF fine tune value number one. We click OK. The reason that there's 20 on here is because Nikon has given you 20 profiles that you can save into your camera for Nikon lenses. 
So I've also got a Nikon 18 to 140 millimeter lens. I can do the same thing to this lens and for example, save it has value number two. When you've got all this, then go out and field test your camera. Shoot at 500 mil, shoot at 200, shoot at 350, all the different focal lengths, and then come back home and test to see whether it is better than what it is before. It should be much better. If you find that when you're doing this test, that instead of being very close numbers, let's say plus three, plus four, plus two, plus one, you're getting a wide variation of plus one, minus eight, plus 10, minus seven, plus 15. So if you've gone back through and double checked everything and you're still getting these wide variations, then your only option is to send your camera and lens back to 